It is one of the most legendary prison breaks in American history. And for the last 55 years, theories about the fate of three men who broke out of their jail cells has multiplied as new evidence surfaces. A letter exclusively obtained by KPIX5 claims that all three escapees, brothers John and Clarence Anglin and Frank Morris, survived the 1962 escape and lived well into old age. The letter has never been made public. When I first found out about it, um, I, was, I was pretty excited about it. Um, I was thinking, wow, it's finally happening. The letter was sent to the San Francisco Police Department's Richmond Station in 2013 and postmarked in Southern California. My name is John Anglin. I escaped from Alcatraz in June 1962 with my brother Clarence and Frank Morris. I'm 83 years old and in bad shape. I have cancer. Yes, we all made it that night, but barely. We believe that they did make it off the island. John and Clarence Anglin's nephew, David Widner, lives outside Atlanta. My grandmother did receive uh, items in the mail and, and, of course, the roses and the Christmas cards uh, that come to her. He says John and Clarence's signatures were on those items sent years after the escape. What are your first impressions of this letter purportedly written by John. If he was reaching out and was sick and had cancer and was dying, you know, we feel like the, the FBI or the U.S. Marshals should at least reached out to the family and let us know that they had received this letter. Um, you know, maybe we could have helped. The FBI and the U.S. Marshals could not determine the authenticity of the letter. The men remain on the U.S. Marshals' most wanted list, along with photos of what they might look like today. I don't believe that had they made it out of there that they would have risked committing any more crimes to get caught to go back to Alcatraz. The writer of the letter also made an offer asking to do a year of jail time and get medical attention, and he would write back to disclose his location. The nephew has not decided whether he believes it's actually his uncle reaching out. On the Night Beat, I'm Betty Yu.